necklaces, a medallion, and a goblet with Bridget's family crest. Clear. I must focus. I arranged a simple burial, here in the heart of our orchard, among the trees she loved the most. Even if her body isn't here, maybe it will bring her peace. could show me the way to Iris.
I can barely see through this darkness. Hello? Is somebody there? Who are you? Are you... alive? Yes, Iris. I'm Scarlet Everett. You knew my father, Jonathan. Wait, I can't see you. I'll put the lights on. Oh, hello. Nice to see you. You look just like your father, but he was much taller. Um, thanks. I'm here to help you. Can you let me in? No. Only my father has a key. But there was a spare key in the safe in the locker room. Well, I'll try to find it. Wait, take this for good luck. A pneumatic post tube? Maybe Cypher is hidden inside.
You didn't say my mom was with you. No, she's not. Iris, quickly close the door. Oh, sorry about my mom. She's a little agitated. Well, neither of your parents are very hospitable. Can you really help me? Are you a medium? Yes. How did you know? I didn't, but Mr. Everett told me that he would return with the medium. Really? Did he tell you why? No, but he left a book here. I hid it in the terrarium, but I forget where exactly. Can you really help me? Are you a... I have a vision, but it's unclear. I must focus.
So, did you figure out a way to protect Iris on the way to the sanctuary? I think so. I'll gather the herbs and use them to hide the vehicle from the ghost. I hope it works. I'll go and finish repairing the car. Before you go, could you bring me my tools? I left them near the shed. car is ready to go. What now? I'll finish preparing the mixture, and you get Iris. Thank <laughs> you. 
We are grateful for your help, friend. You can thank me when I return with a medium and we free Iris. Come back soon. Godspeed. Are you alright? Yes. Do you know why your mother is trying to possess you? No. But Mr. Everett said that it's somehow connected to the way she died. I need to investigate the place where Bridget had the accident. I know where it is. I'll show you. No, Iris. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous for you. I can't stay here forever. I want a normal life. Far from this prison. You're my only chance, Scarlet. I beg you. Well, I'll try to find a way to get you out safely. I hope you figure out a way to hide from my mother soon. I'm ready. I hope that I never have to come back to this place. I think the incense is working. It's here. Dad told me that my mom died under the wheels of this locomotive. I know that it will be hard for you, but we must search the place. I suspect that we are close to answering what is tearing apart your mother's soul.
starting to see something. But it's not the same place. She... she was brought here after she died. She's deceiving you. Iris, no! She fainted. Thank <laughs> you. 
had to belong to Bridget. I have a vision, but it's unclear. I must focus. Where am I? Is it the residence? What's going on? Ah, there you are. Tonight's party was wonderful. I've got a present for you. Happy birthday, Bridget. Go ahead and try it on, darling. Barry, he thinks that I'm his wife. It's me. I mean her. Mom, you look wonderful. Thank you, sweetie. Iris, you should go to sleep. But I didn't play with Mom on the piano today. It's too late. Go to your room. Let her stay. Give me a minute, honey. I need to find our practice score. It's time to go to sleep. Mommy, I don't want to move out. What are you talking about, sweetie? Dad asked me if I wanted to live in an apartment in town. Well, I'm sure he was just joking. Oh. Good night, Mommy. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Have you seen the key to the safe locker? I need to hide this wonderful necklace. I bet it's somewhere on your dressing table. Darling? 
What's this? Calm down, honey. I, I can explain everything. The house and orchard have belonged to my family for generations. You know that the factory is falling into debt. It will be making money again soon, I promise. You betrayed me, Steenmeyer. You're a thieving liar. Watch your tongue, Bridget. I'm warning you. How dare you? I'm going for Iris. We're leaving this instant. I'll never let you go. Do you understand? Never! That makes sense. The Baronet accidentally killed Bridget when all she wanted was to run away from him with Iris. So, you know the truth. It's you. You're the one keeping Bridget in the world of the living. I know. It's all my fault. But I loved her so much. I never accepted that she died because of me. If you don't let her go, Iris will die too. Then there's only one thing to do. Take care of Iris. Tell her that I regret that I wasn't a better father. Steemeyer, wait! Thank you, Scarlet. I hope that you find your father. Steemeyer overloaded the furnace. The factory's going to collapse. Scarlet, was I dreaming? My mom led me to a beautiful light, but I didn't want to go. I could feel that I wasn't ready. You've done well, Iris, but now we have to run. Dad? Mom? No, you have your whole life ahead of you. You must be strong. We love you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mom, Dad. And so we left this day with all of its pain and broken dreams. I don't think I can return to my old life now. I must be a medium. I cannot reject my gift. If I don't use it to aid others, there will be no one to help them. Iris is finally free. Nothing will erase what she has gone through, but she seems to be excited to finally start a life of her own. I don't know where this journey will lead each of us, but I know where I will begin. I will find my father. I know he's out there and I feel that he's alive. Let me give you another chance, father. <laughs>